Come on, everybody can pray. We wouldn't quiet outside. Come on, let's pray. Come on, talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God and, and tell God some things you need for him to do. Come on, talk to God about yourself. Come on, let's talk. See, the reason why we're not praying for ourselves is because we don't think nothing wrong with us. But you need to talk to God about yourself. The devil is not your problem. You the problem. You the one that don't want to listen to God. You need to talk to the Lord. Help me with my stubborn self. Help me, God. Stuff that I need to do, I fight against. The help God you have for me, Lord, I don't want it. I want to be, I want to go down and miss the big stuff. Lord, help us tonight. I don't want to do things your way, God. I want to do it my way, God. Lord, help us tonight. Come on. God done laid out a way for us sometimes. We don't want to do it God's way. We want to do that. We want to put our name on it. Lord, help us tonight, Lord. Lord, I don't want to steal your glory. Come on, everybody. Come on. I need y'all to pray. Come on. See, the answer is not in the church. It ain't in the preacher. The answer is in Jesus. I got to teach people how to have a relationship with the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, help me tonight. Help me, Lord. Come on, somebody ought to be praying. Amen. Asking God to help them tonight. Hallelujah. It's when you need help, that's when God going to help you. When you tell him you need help, that's when God going to help you. When you be honest with yourself, that's when God going to do it. Ain't, ain't, no, ain't no sense of lying in church that you all right. You ain't all right. Ain't nobody all right. We need some help from the Lord tonight. Lord, help me tonight, God. Touch me with your spirit, God. Lord, I need your, everybody here need God to touch them with the spirit. If you don't hear, if the spirit of God don't help you tonight, you're going to think the preacher lying to you. If you don't hear the spirit tonight, you're going to think the preacher talking about somebody else. No, God talking to you tonight. Hallelujah. Some of us ain't cried in a long time over your sinful ways. You got some sinful ways you ought to cry over. You got some things you do and you ought to be sorry about it. You, we, we all doing some things we ought to be ashamed of and say, Lord, forgive me today, God. Forgive me, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we just bless you tonight, God. Touch us in this service tonight, God. Touch us, oh God, that we may know and, and, and feel and, and get to know a true and a living God tonight. We don't want to just come, God, just to be coming, just to, just to be here tonight. But, Lord, we want, a, we want a real experience with you tonight, God. Hallelujah. We need you to touch our hearts tonight, God. We need you to do something for us that we can't do for ourselves. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you tonight. We bless you. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray, God. Amen. Come on, clap your hands. I want y'all to sing with me an old, old song from the old church. They will sing a song, and uh, it's an old song, but it meant something to people. The Lord had lifted you somewhere. Do you remember where the Lord lifted you at? Where God helped you at? They will sing a song, they will say, I'm so glad Jesus lifted at me I'm so glad Jesus
Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. One more time, y'all. I'm so glad Jesus lifted. Some of y'all know what that song talking about. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. Listen here. When I was down, Jesus lifted me. Oh, when I... Y'all ain't been down before. Jesus lifted me. Do you remember? When I was down, Jesus lifted me. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. When I was sick, Oh, Jesus, lift. Y'all ain't never been sick before. When I was sick, Jesus lifted me. Oh, when I was sick, oh, yeah, Jesus lifted me. Sang and glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Are y'all glad tonight? I'm so, so glad Jesus lifted me. Oh, I'm so glad, yeah, Jesus lifted me. Sang and glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me on my way to hell. Oh, but Jesus lifted. Y'all know y'all was on your way to hell. On my way to hell. But Jesus lifted me. I was on my way to hell, oh, but Jesus lifted me, sang and glory, hallelujah, Jesus lifted me, saints will say, I'm so glad, Jesus, how many of y'all glad tonight, y'all, I'm so glad. Yes, I am, Jesus lifted. Well, I'm so glad. Oh, yeah, Jesus lifted. Well, I'm singing glory. Hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. Well, when I was down, Jesus lifted Y'all remember y'all were down? When I was down, Jesus lifted me. Oh, when I was down, Jesus lifted me. Sang and glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. One more time, y'all. I'm so glad. Can I hear y'all saying that? Jesus lifted me. Well, I'm so glad. We didn't got sophisticated now. People don't want to praise the Lord, but well, I'm so glad. Jesus lifted me. Sang and glory, hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. I remember y'all. When I was sick, Jesus. Y'all remember when you were sick? When I was sick, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Oh, when. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Lord, I praise you tonight. Sang in glory. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, God. Glory to God. Well, I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Well, I'm so, so glad Jesus. I'm really glad tonight. Oh, I'm so glad, yeah, Jesus lifted me, sang and glory, hallelujah, Jesus lifted me, hallelujah, glory to God, come on, glory to God, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm glad Jesus lifted me tonight. I'm glad Jesus lifted me tonight. Hallelujah. I'm glad I got liberty tonight. I'm glad I'm not ashamed to praise the Lord tonight. I'm glad I met the Lord and the Lord lifted me. Hallelujah. I'm glad that I know it tonight. I'm glad that I know the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Thank God for doctors, but the doctor didn't lift me. Hallelujah. I know it was Jesus that lifted me. Hallelujah. I thank God tonight. I come for the Lord to touch us tonight. We need a touch from the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. I need the Lord for some things tonight. I don't know about y'all, but I need the Lord for some things tonight. Hallelujah. I need God to lift me tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I can't afford to come to church tonight and be playing. I need the Lord to do something real in my life tonight. I don't want to go back home the same way. And I, I know I serve a true and a living God. And he will answer tonight. I know he will. The Lord will answer by fire tonight. Hallelujah. You know, if we just be real with God, God will touch us tonight. If we just be real tonight, if we just take the mask off, like everything is all right in our life, if we just take it off and say, Lord, I'm here because I need you tonight. I'm here because I got some things I can't handle tonight. I need you, Lord. I, need, I got some things. I need the power of God. How many of y'all need the power of God tonight? I need the power of God tonight. I need the power of God tonight. There are some things I, I there are some things I can do. There are some things I can't do. I'm here tonight for the things I can't do. I got a lot of things I can't do, and I need the power of God. The things you can do, you ought to handle it. But there are some things, Amen. You need God to do. Hallelujah. You know, God told the prophet to tell the people in the book of Habakkuk, or Haggai, he said, tell the people to consider their ways. I think that's what I'm going to preach from tonight. Y'all can have your seat. Consider your ways. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to just give it to you the way the Lord giving it to me. 
Y'all, y'all don't, y'all don't, need, I mean, I've been to school, but y'all don't need all of that tonight. I'm, I mean, you, you're not worried about all this and that. You just want to hear the word tonight. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. He's a good God tonight. And, and you don't have to be quiet tonight. You. Amen. I'm not like one of these churches that tell you to be quiet and don't say nothing. If you feel like praise the Lord, you go on and praise the Lord. The Bible said make a joyful noise unto the Lord. That's what's wrong with a lot of us. We ain't praise the Lord like we need to praise the Lord. We've been taught to sit there and be quiet, but when God do something for you, you ought to let somebody know God is a good God. He's worthy of all the praise. I ain't worried about crying. You wait till I get the glory and around the throne of God. You know what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be crying too. I ain't worried about crying. Now, you can talk about me all you want to. That Bishop Price up there crying. I'm going to cry my way on home. Amen. And I hope to see you there around the throne of God. I'll be right there crying. God is a good God. You know, to tell the truth, we all owe God some praise. We all owe God some praise. Good has God been to you. I'm going to say that again. Good has God been to you? And you don't want to praise him good as he been to you? Woo. Some of y'all in here ought to be like shouting Johns and hold my mule. Hallelujah. God did it so you can praise him. He didn't let death come and kill you so you can praise him. You think about all these folks dying. You ain't no better than nobody else. It could have been you. It could have and probably should have been you. God let you live on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's some folk that they live better than you and they gone. Woo, hallelujah. Y'all know we ain't been all that good. Come on. We ain't been all that good to say God had to keep me here. You made mistakes like the rest of them. You stumbled just like the rest of them. And you waddled in something just like the rest of them. But how, how come you here and they gone? Nothing but the grace of God. Nothing but the grace of God. Nothing but the grace of God. Tell you the truth, you can't even tell yourself why you still here. You don't even know why you still here. Not based on you. You know, the old folks used to say, the Lord been better to me. Then I've been to myself. It took me a long time to realize what that meant. You don't even know how to treat yourself right. You don't even know how to love yourself. You don't know how to make good decisions for yourself. God is a good God. Hallelujah. God is a good God. And I'm praying tonight that the Holy Spirit will take somebody and just shake them and wake them up tonight to let them know it ain't about you. It ain't about what you're doing. It's about God. It's about God. That God don't wake you up in the morning so you can get in that mirror and say how pretty you are. God wake you up in the morning so you be about his business. That's the only reason why he wake you up in the morning. Be about my business. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There's a prophet. Y'all can have your seat if you can. There's a prophet by the name of Haggai. Thank you. 
I hate to say this, but God's people have always been stubborn people. Can, I'm, on, I, I'm not going to paint no pretty picture for y'all. Y'all done read your Bible like I done read it. All through the Bible, God's people been hard-headed people. Go from Genesis to Revelation, God had hard-headed people. So almost when God, God, when, when God would bless the people. He told them in Deuteronomy 8, he said, I'm going to bless y'all. He said, and when y'all get full, he said, y'all going to forget me. God said it. He, God said, you're going to pray, you're going to holler, you're going to cry. I'm going to hear you, I'm going to bless you, and then you're going to forget me. You walk around here, ain't got no money. Walk around here, got to, got to get a ride to church. Got to go get a ride to go to work. Amen. Then God bless you with a ride of your own. And guess what? I ain't going to church. Crying out there, God, I need your help. I need your help. God give you the help. You forget about it. All the way through the Bible. All the way through the Bible, say, all the way through the Bible. One of God's main, the children's children, main problem, they forget. Lord, heal my body. Lord, heal my body. Lord, heal my body. The body get healed. God who? Make promises to God. God, if you get me out of this, I am going to serve you. God bless you, and you don't serve him. I'm talking to some people tonight that they made God some vows, and you ain't did them yet. God, if you help me with my family, I'm going to serve you. I'm going to serve you. And God do his part. I want y'all to look over your life right now. You're more blessed than you ever have been. I hope you can say I'm as close to God as I ever have been. That would be a blessing. But even now, as you're closer to God than you ever have been, you know like I know, you still got some room. You can get closer. Even now, we, we know, come on, I'm talking about myself too. Even now, you know you ain't where you know God wants you to be. Even now, you know you disappoint God. Even now, getting all these blessings. Right? Getting all these blessings. And I ain't talking about stuff you can't do no better. I'm talking about stuff you can do better. Come on. Stuff you can do better. I'm talking about you just down. Just, let this plain talk. You just say, I ain't going to do it. Until God make me do it. God talk to you every day about things you could do better. Hang on to it, God, until, until God make me do it. You could be walking through your house. God will show you something you can do better. You ain't got to be in church for God to talk to you. God talk to you everywhere. You'd be walking through your house and God can say, I want you to do this better. Everything you hear from God ain't got to come from the preacher. See, a lot of people want to put everything on the preacher. Don't put everything on the preacher. God talk to you. People like to, they like to play games with God. I, I don't know why you hear God. You hear God. And if you don't hear God, who fault that is? Still yours. 
Hey, Bishop, I didn't hear God. Whose fault did it? It ain't mine. Right? Who plucked that TV up? And who watch it all day long? Who occupy themselves with other things other than God all day long? When you don't hear God, whose fault is it? He sang a song, nobody's fault but mine. You know why you don't want to hear from God? Because you know what he's going to tell you. Straighten up. Don't do that. Oh, I thought God was going to tell me how much he loved you. Oh, yeah. To whom he loved, he chastened. Don't he chastise folks he loved? How many of y'all been chastised by the Lord before? Ooh. How many of y'all know God will put something on you? Mm-hmm. And he still loves you. He start talking to you. You know, start, God starts saying, hey, you got to do something. You're going to have to change. You ever heard the Lord tell you to change? How many of y'all have heard the Lord tell you to change some things? <laughs> I ain't talking about you lying in prayer. Lord, I need you to change me. I quit saying that. Because you really don't mean, some people really don't mean. Lord, I want, see now you want to put the responsibility off on God. Lord, I, I, I need you to change me. What about you, what about you taking some responsibility? He told the prophet in the book of Haggai, tell my people to consider their ways. You want to do something, blame the devil. The devil made me do it. The devil. Take your responsibility off of you. Put it on the devil. The black man, the white man. You know, in our, in our black community, that's the first thing we like to say, the white man. Come on. We don't want to take responsibility. We pray for a whole lot of stuff, but we don't want the responsibility. To whom much is given. And I'm looking at some people that are praying to God for most stuff. God is going to have to connect some dots for us. You are in this situation because you do this. My husband, my wife, my children, my, is always my something. My boss man, my supervisor, my mama, my daddy. They didn't do this for me when I was 12. Full of excuses. Nobody want to deal with God one on one. When the last time you had a, a talk with God and then bring nobody else's name up? Then you sang another song. Lord, it's me again. Right? I'm standing in the need of prayer. Not my mother. Not my sister. It's me. Oh Lord, I'm standing in the need of prayer. You need to know tonight that you need prayer. How are you going to deal with yourself? When God himself can't tell you that you're wrong. We didn't, we didn't wrestle. We didn't try to argue with God. Me? Yeah, you. Sweet me? Yes, sweet old you. You got some ways that are not like God. I said you got some ways. Everybody here got some ways that don't resemble God at all. There are consequences 
to your choices. Now, most people, amen, have, have, taught, have thought the church, what the church is, is a place where the preacher may get sweet and cover up what I really need. You don't need no revival message. Sending them preachers to an early grave. You don't need nobody telling you, you all right. You all right. Matter of fact, we all all right. I don't even know why we here tonight. Because we all don't need God. That's a lie from the devil. You need to hear somebody... I'm telling you, when I would come, I would, you would hear preachers preach a message. And I, it would trouble me. I'd get back home. Trouble me. I got to do something. Couldn't sleep. Holy Spirit, conviction get on me. Conviction. To where I had to look in the mirror. And I wasn't looking at us. I'm looking at me. The Bible talks about how Peter preached. And then the people talking about uh, what must we do to be saved. We don't talk about conviction no more. Conviction is when the, is the work of the Holy Spirit. Number one, what conviction do when it's set in? God shines. He, he puts a mirror in your face. And he lets you see yourself for how you really look. Now, you're not going to look like you think you look. Right? Because most of us think we're looking all right. God, watch this. God will put conviction on you. He lets you look at yourself like sin. Now watch this. God is so holy, he can't what? Look at sin. He can't look at it. Even when his son Jesus took on sin, God looked away. What you need tonight is for God to show you a picture of how you are without him. I tell you, it'll make you sick to your stomach. It'll make you sick to your stomach, you without God. Most people ain't seen themselves like that. But I pray for conviction tonight. You don't know how you look when you make decisions and you leave God out. You don't know how you look from day to day living and leave God out. Just leave him out. It's a sinful look. You don't know the things you'll do when you leave God out. You know, we love to say, oh, them people are crazy. I wouldn't do that. You do the same thing without God. A prodigal son, he come out of a house. He didn't have need of nothing. He got so low in his sin. He was so hungry. He desired the husk that the swines were eating. He said, Lord, if I eat that, my stomach will be full. You don't know how low sin will carry you. When he got down there and getting ready to eat, the Lord showed him a picture of himself. When you hear the words in the Bible, he came to himself what, what the Bible really is saying, God showed him who he was. You don't know what sin will make you become. Y'all been there. When the Lord had to shake you and say, look what you came, look what you became when you left me. God got his glory for you tonight. God said, I want y'all to consider your ways tonight. He told the people in the book of Haggai, he says, now, y'all don't put me first. This is the first thing God said to his people, y'all don't put me first. 
See, God's people take care of themselves and then they give God the crumbs. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Y'all can read it. He says, consider this. The word in the Bible, S-E-I-L-E-D, sealed houses, uh, it, it referred to the, the up-to-do houses, split level, you know, those the nice neighborhood houses. He said, now y'all got all of those. He said, but now look at my house. He said, my house, amen, amen. Uh, the, the people don't want to vacuum the floor. They don't want to take out the trash. My house, they don't want to wash the windows. My house, they don't even keep it smelling nice. He said, but your house look like, amen, better homes and garden." God said, I'm going to send a curse. He said, I want you to consider some things. Hey, here's another thing to consider. You got a bag full of money and there's a hole at the bottom of it. What you mean, pastor? Some of you can't even count where your money go. I, I've been there. Some of y'all probably have been there. You can work and don't know where your money go. Y'all, that's a curse. It's a curse to know how much money you're getting in and don't know where it's going. God said, consider your ways. At the end of the month, you got you there with that calculator. I know this come in the house, but where it go? Y'all, I mean, I say it like this. I just say it. I tell, like my kids, I tell them. I said, God going to get you. You can't, you can't treat God. God going to get you. Now, you can trick me. But I ain't preaching about me tonight. You're not going to get away from God. God? You think you can get away from God? You know, what's going to make people, amen, turn around from their wicked ways? What's going to make people com hey, commit themselves to God? I'm going to start living for God. And not just on Sunday. I'm going to do it every day of the week. I'm going to serve the Lord every day of the week. I'm going to walk with God. I'm going to walk with God every day of the week. Now, some of y'all right now, right now, and I'm, pr I'm praying. God is trying to get you to walk with him. And you won't do it. Well, Lord, what, what about her? He not talking to you. He talking about you. God trying to get you to get closer to him. Well, Lord, she ain't that close. He not talking about her. How many of y'all know God want to talk to you tonight? God want to have a personal walk with you tonight. Quit putting it off on somebody else. Lord, uh, Sally, you going to church today? If you go, I'll go. What if Sally want to go to hell? You want to go too? Y'all know how people talk. I was thinking about going out there this evening at six. You going? Tell them, wait a minute. You go for yourself. Don't go for me. Because I can't die for you. So you're going to have to go for yourself. Everybody going to have to stand before God for themselves. I, I love my mama. I can't stand in front of God for my mama. Hmm? This is some rough stuff. You love your husband. You can't stand before God for him. You can't say, God, wait a minute. Before you say anything to my husband, let me step in front of him. 
You better not do it. You're going to have enough, a rough enough time answering for your sins. Huh? Let's be real about it. You ain't dotted all the I's and crossed all the T's in your life yet. You better help yourself before you try to help somebody else. What are you going to do tonight? What are you going to do tonight? What are you going to do with all that, what God wants you at to where you are? What are you going to do tonight about that gap? I said, what God wants you at and where you at. What you going to do with that gap? See, it's only by the grace of God and having a relationship with Jesus Christ you can fill that gap. I need to tell you, you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't say, well, Jesus is going to do it for me. You can't say that either because you got to have a relationship with him. What do you mean having a relationship? You got to do what the Lord say do. You can't do what you want to do. Bishop, pray for me. I mean, I'll pray. But what good my prayer going to do if you not ready maybe your mind, you're going to do what you want to do? What good my prayer going to do? Amen. That's like somebody getting insurance on their car and they maybe their mind they're going to have a wreck. Insurance not going to save you for the wreck. You may not get out of that wreck. Well, the grace of God. The grace of God. But did God give you grace so you can go on and keep on sinning? What do you tell that woman that was caught in the act of adultery? Whew. I'm telling you, they're getting ready to stone her. Jesus wrote on the ground. He probably wrote, he that without sin cast the first stone. Everybody left. He turned around, looked at that woman. He said, woman, where are your accusers at? She looked around and said, well, Lord, I ain't got none. He said, and neither do I. He said, everybody left. He said, and I'm not going to accuse you either. He said, but, right? Go. Don't do it no more. Do you hear the Lord telling you tonight? Don't do it no more. Huh? I, I think everybody in here got something the Lord can talk to you and say, don't do it no more. Huh? You're getting quiet on me now. But if you want God to be real with you, you got to be real with God. Everybody got to come to a point in their life, Lord, I'm tired of getting whooped for this. I'm tired of going around the same old mountain. I'm tired of living in sin and shouting about it. I'm tired of living like I want to and want Bishop to make it right. I, I can't make it right. Well, I go down to, I go down to ain't God good on Sunday night. And what do that mean? I go down there every Sunday. And what do that mean? You know what it should mean? You should be living better. It should mean that. I wonder when you meet God, whose name you going to call? Don't call mine. Lord, Bishop said, uh-uh, don't put me in it. I'm trying to get you to have a relationship with God for yourself. You don't need to be talking to God through my name. How many of y'all know God for yourself? Woo. I'm just here to help you, but I'm not here to be responsible. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Well, come here, Makai. It's like a little child. Hold my hand. If we go out there across the road 
as long as he holding my hand, I'm holding his, he's going to be all right. Right? Y'all understand? Y'all see this? As long as he keep his hand in my hand, he's going to be all right. If he take his hand out of my hand and do his own thing, Y'all see it? If he take his hand out of my hand, y'all, a lot of people don't have their hand in the Lord's hand and they think it's going to be all right. I want to talk for a second. You can have your seat. I want to pray for people. I may not have said nothing. They got your name on it. That's fine too. All I know, I said what God told me to say. And I can, I can live with that. I can go home and rest of that. I, I said what God told me to say. But just maybe there's somebody that don't have their hand in God's hand. Or maybe there's just somebody here that said, Pastor, I got it in his hand, but I ain't holding God's hand tight. Like, I, y'all understand what I'm saying? You ever had a child hold your hand and they just got it in there and he said, hold my hand, hold my hand. <laughs> tight. I want to pray for somebody. It may not be you. If you're in good standing with God, you just help me pray for other folks. But I want to pray for folks Amen. That need a tight grip with God tonight. That that say, you know what, Lord, my hand in your hand, but it ain't tight like it's supposed to be. I need to consider my ways. I need God to do something for me. I need a miracle tonight. I need God to do something for me tonight. You know, you know, when we in church sometimes, you know, we can fool ourselves like everything is all right. Do you know that most people, when they think everything is all right, they sleep. They sleep and they need to wake up. They need to know, listen, if you think you ain't got no room for improvement, the devil done fooled you. If you think you all you should be, the devil didn't fool you already. If you think you are a place where you don't sin and come shout the glory of God and need to be asking God for mercy every day, something is wrong with you. Amen. See, somebody need, amen. When we get to the point where we think the only kind of prayer we need to pray. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you for my money. Listen, you got some problems. You ain't close to God like you need to be. There's some things the Holy Spirit didn't told you to do, and you're dragging your foot about doing it. There's some people God told you to love, and you ain't loved them yet. There's some things the Lord didn't told you to do, and you ain't done them yet like, like you got the clock. We don't have time. We on God's time. Right there in your heart. I, I, I'm not going to pray for you. I want you right in your heart. Right, right there. I want you to just start praying. Just start praying. We got about five to ten more minutes. I'm going to go around and pray. But I want you to pray for yourself. I don't know how deep you are in this thing. I don't know how much you didn't told God no. I don't know how stubborn you have been. I don't know how much you rejected the leading of the Holy Spirit and you going around giggling like it's all right. Everybody, you start praying. Because I know God, God have talked to you about doing things for him and you hadn't said yes yet. God had been trying to get you to become a different person and you hadn't said yes to that yet. 
God been challenging your character and you ain't said yes yet. You still trying to walk to everybody's beat. You still trying to fit in with everybody. You still trying to be accepted, acceptable for people. Lord, I want you to change my life, but don't make my life uh, uh, more different than other folks. Because I want to still fit in. I still want to be accepted with mom and dad and sister and brother and my kin folks. And everybody. I still want to be accepted. You, you're not going to get nowhere with God like that. Father, I thank you tonight. I thank you for your people, God. Lord, some of your people, God, are standing in a valley of decision. Lord, as you uh, told us tonight to consider our ways tonight. Consider our ways. There are some things that we are doing that are not lining up with our prayers. We've been praying for this and doing that. We've been telling everybody we're so blessed, blessed in the city and blessed in the field, but living in a kind of way. But Lord, help us tonight to line up with your word tonight. Holy Spirit, shine the light on us tonight. We don't want to go through this life and then at the end, all our living going to be in vain. Hallelujah, Lord. We don't want all of this church going to be in vain, God. We don't want all this Sunday night at 6 o'clock to be in vain, God. Help us to be real tonight, God. Help us to be real tonight. Be real with your word, God. To be real with your son, Jesus. Lord, I need you tonight, God. All of my steps in your word, God. I don't want to be a false witness. Don't want to be a hypocrite. I don't want to be saying one thing and living another God. Hallelujah. I want to line up with your word, God. Hallelujah. Give me a, give me a heart, God. Give me a clean heart tonight, God. Renew me a clean heart. Create in me, God. Ooh, a new spirit, God. Hallelujah. Wash me in your blood tonight. I want to be right with you tonight, God. Hallelujah. I want to be acceptable unto you tonight, God. I'm not worried about people, God. Because people come and go. But God, you are a friend, God. You are faithful to me, God. Hallelujah. Lord, I need you tonight, God. The clean some things in my life, God. Hallelujah. There's some things I let happen, and I know I should let happen, God. Hallelujah. There's some things I, I, I supposed to say no to, but I don't say no to, Lord. There are some things I say yes to, and I ain't supposed to say yes to, Lord. Hallelujah. And then, God, there's, some, there's somebody beside me in my life, God, that I sin when they want to sin. I do what they want me to do, God. Lord, help us tonight. Lord, I know your Bible said don't be a partaker of another man's sin. If he want to sin, let him sin on his own. Don't put me in it. Hallelujah. I got enough to answer for myself. I don't need to tag team with nobody else when it comes down to sin. Lord, tonight, touch our hearts and our mind by your Holy Spirit. Put us back on the right track, God. Lord, we didn't come for a long prayer. We didn't come for shape, form, or fashion tonight. But Lord, we wanted you to talk to us tonight. We want you to talk to us tonight. Help me to get right, God. Help me to get right, God. Everybody may think I'm doing all right, but Lord, you know, help me to get right, God. I don't want folks' applause and praise to let me get beside myself. There are some people pat me on the back thinking I'm doing good, but Lord, I know and you know 
I could be doing a whole lot better than what I'm doing right now. Help me, God. Give me the strength to do the things I need to do. Hold on to your hand and turn loose of the devil. Hallelujah. Now, Lord, everybody around this altar, I pray, God, you talk to them one on one. And that they will obey your voice. Lord, they hear you. They hear you, God. They can't act like they don't hear you. They hear you. They hear your voice, Lord. They hear you telling them, you telling them right from wrong, God. They hear you. Let them do your will, Lord. And I pray, I pray that God they'll consider their ways and turn to God. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on, clap your hands for God. Now, as you go back to your seat, don't leave. Go back to your seat. They used to sing this song. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Since I've laid my burden down. Let's praise the Lord. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Since I laid my burden down. Glory, glory, hallelujah, since I lay my burden down, glory, glory, hallelujah, since I lay my a burden down. They will say this. I feel better. So much better. Since I lay my burden down. I feel better. So much better. Since I laid my burden down, friends don't treat me like they used to. Since I laid my, y'all know that, burden down, friends don't treat me like they used to since i laid my burden down one more time y'all glory glory hallelujah since i laid my burden down Glory, glory, hallelujah, since I laid my burden down, hallelujah, hallelujah, you may have your seat, we're getting ready to go, I want y'all to, uh, amen, if y'all got an offering tonight, I want you to give an offering tonight, and I want you to, if you need an envelope, that should give you an envelope. Hey Amen. I want you to put something down that you're seeking God for. Something that you're seeking God for. If you need an envelope, raise your hand. The usher's going to give you an envelope. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to put what you're seeking God for. I don't have the answer. God got your answer. And before you leave here tonight, I want you to get one of these prayer handkerchiefs. God going to touch you. God is going to bless you. If you've been, I, want, I just want you to be obedient to God. You give what God put on your heart. You hear the Lord. You hear him. 
God is a good God tonight. One day, all of this is going to be over. One day, all of this is going to be over. And you better start putting some time in with God. And you better get your own relationship with God. You can't live off nobody else's. Envelope. Get something from your mama. Get an envelope. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God is blessing. I want I want to see the glory of God on God's people. And uh, you know, you gotta teach teach and preach to people that they're gonna have to get to know God for themselves. A lot of people doing things and they don't know God. They don't know why things are happening to them because you got to put God in your life. You got to serve the Lord for yourself. A lot of people ain't going to do no more than what other folks do. You got to serve the Lord for yourself. Maybe the Lord ain't going to tell everybody the same thing. He's not going to tell everybody the same thing. But you hear God and you got to obey God. Well, I was going, but they said they wouldn't go. I hate it at the, end of, at the end of life. You still depending on somebody else's desire. I would pray, but I can't find nobody to pray with me. Pray for yourself. Amen. Everybody got to get to know God for themselves. When you get to know God for yourself, you ain't going to do what everybody else do. They say, why are you trying to be? You trying to act all brand new. Amen. I am. I'm a new creature in Christ. I'm a new creature in Christ. I ain't got time to be fooling around with folks that don't know God. Bishop, you, you, all, I, you know what? I got, I got time to witness, for, witness to them, tell them about the Lord. But if I stay too long with an unsaved person, they'll, they'll have me doing what they're doing. I know that's right. And you ain't even got to go there with their intent. You just be around there too long. That what happened to Peter here, here warming himself by the devil's fire. He said, oh, this ain't going to harm. This ain't going to hurt. For you know, he was cussing and swearing. For you know what? He was telling the Lord, I don't know that man. You get around the wrong people too long, they have you doing the same thing. They want you to hang around them, invite them to church and see what they're going to say. I ain't going out that well. Why you want me here? I thank y'all tonight. Are y'all about ready? I'm just trying. And and uh, listen, if you need a, a prayer handkerchief, I'm gonna give you one. I got some red ones, and uh, we'll definitely give you one. Uh, y'all continue to pray. Continue to pray for this church that it could touch more people. I don't, we don't come up here at 6 o'clock on Sunday night to be playing. Amen. We come up here to get some souls for God. Amen. God got to get some people saved. Amen. Well, I say God, but God sent us to help save people. Amen. We got work to do. I, I believe if I, if I die tonight, I believe that all of this is going to come up again. Y'all do know it's coming up again. I believe the work that I'm doing it's going to be to a reward in heaven. I believe the Bible teaches that. That the things you do for the Lord will be a reward in heaven. I don't know about y'all, but I want to spend my time with God in blessings. I'm not just going to church just to be going to church. (laughs) 
All right, I thank y'all, and we usually uh, dismiss, and then y'all can uh, bring your offering up. I'm going to say that dismissal prayer. Um, and those of y'all that, uh, you know, if you want a prayer handkerchief, you can come up and get one after you know, we give our, uh, um, pray for our offering. You can come and get one. You, know, you can have somebody to come and get you one. Don't get the whole stack. Just get something, get one. You know? <laughs> it just ain't no hocus pocus. It's just, it's just a handkerchief. It got the scripture on there about how Paul took the things and, and it gave them out. And uh, it's just a point of contact. We might have got that rag from Walmart or something. But amen, we prayed over it and we believe that the Lord has anointed it. And again, it's according to what you believe. It's just a reminder that God is a healing God. And that healing belongs to you. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you tonight. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you for the songs of Zion. Thank you for the prayer. And Lord, we, we just give you praise. Lord, help us to get closer to you. You said in your word that you want us to draw near to you. And then you'll draw near to us. So, Lord, help us to go first to draw near to you, Lord. Bless us tonight. Thank you for all the people that came tonight. From, 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 from this one to that one, from that one to this one. Thank, thank God for everyone, Lord, that sacrificed and came out tonight. I pray, Lord, they have got a blessing in some shape, form, or fashion. That they heard you talk tonight. That they felt your power tonight. That they sense your Holy Spirit tonight. My prayer is that your blessing will go with your people. Not only today, but all week long. That they'll get a blessing. They're getting closer to God. Thank you for the offering. And Lord, we ask blessing upon this church. That it'll be a, a great influence to this community all around. Um, WLBG. Our services here at this church on the internet uh, uh, that we have, uh, W-A-G-G, Clinton.com. We pray that all these things will be a blessing to your people and your kingdom. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands. Amen. Thank you all tonight. And we can come and give your offering.